What you can expect in upcoming months is a series of educational vlogs on common mistakes and common problems which all the business owners are facing. So today we're gonna start with two common mistakes people make when they grow their business. And we're gonna discuss three ways on how to avoid those mistakes and actually take the advantage of all the opportunities which are being presented to us. The easiest way to grow your company is to get more customers. That's a kind of a pretty obvious answer, right? But on the other hand, you can actually grow your company not only by acquiring new customers, but actually taking advantage of all the opportunities which are presented to you from the current customer database. And one of the way to actually grow your business by using that strategy is to getting referrals from your existing clients. It sounds very simple. You are doing an extremely good service for that customer and you asking that client for the referral. It sounds very simple, but I think what you have to have is a lot of discipline and correct process to make sure that this is executed every single time. From my own experience, this referral strategy will work the best when you implement it very early within your sales process. So set your expectations from the beginning. Explain to your client that your business is growing predominantly through the word of mouth. And what you are here to do is provide exceptional service and hopefully you will get a chance to ask for referral at the end. And don't make the mistake of asking for the referral straight away. First of all, impress your customer, gain the trust, deliver on your promises, and then ask for the referral. One of the common mistakes people make is they not rewarding the clients for referring their friends and family. It sounds very simple again, but how many times you've referred someone and you have not heard from that person ever? So, for instance, at Step by Step Financial Solutions, we always thank the client for referring us to the friends or family. And that's regardless of whether we're gonna do the business with the client or not. If the business converts into a sale, um, we are very, very happy to share some of the proceeds of the sale with our clients, um, even by sending them a voucher. But if it, the client is not proceeding, so if someone recommended you a client and that client had not used your services, make sure to thank the person who's referring you that business because they, they may not even know what it takes to convert that lead. Maybe they don't know that you are actually helping this client without actually doing any business with them. But by, but by contacting this referral source of yours, your friend, your family, and thanking them with a thank you card or a phone call or a text message goes a long way because it shows the appreciation to your business. When working on your referral strategy, you can either use a simple spreadsheet to make sure that you log in every single referral client and from who that client was referred. Again, to make sure that you thank the person who has uh, referred you to business. On the other hand, you reward that person as well when they've done the business. So you can do that in a very simple way, or you can use more sophisticated ways of doing this by implementing a program, a software, uh, an app, uh, which can actually engage the clients with their uh, referral program, uh, reward them with uh, gift vouchers, give them a discount code and so on and so forth. So there are various ways. But make sure that whichever way you choose, be consistent, because this is the key of actually working out this strategy to the fullest potential. Another way of getting more out of your current clients is by asking them for a Google review. This sets a very high standard for your business, because if your customers are aware that you're going to be asking them for a referral at the end, and if you are employees are aware of that, they're gonna be trying to impress that client because they know that there's gonna be a referral and there's gonna be a Google review question at the end of the transaction. So make sure you obtain those Google reviews because they are your potential next clients. 
So when you go into the Google and you type in find me a car garage nearby or find me a security company nearby or find a mortgage advisor nearby, those searches are currently sky high. And the companies which are active on the Google are the ones which are positioned the best. So all the research shows that you can actually pay for your positioning within the Google, you can pay for AdWords. The majority of people will are, are likely to go to this map section first, see where this company is located, click on this company and check their Google reviews. And if you are not getting regular reviews and you're not responding to your regular reviews, your, the Google will not position your business as high as it could be. So Google likes active businesses. So whenever you get that review, make sure to respond. That shows that your business is active. And it shows your client, again, that you really care and you really appreciate their feedback. On the other hand, make sure to comment on the Google and actually post in the Google section, because that's, again, um, increase your positioning within the Google engine search. And this strategy does not cost a fortune. You don't have to pay a huge sums of money for the AdWords and positioning and the SEOs. The Google strategy, Google review strategy alone will help you tremendously in your positioning and hopefully your client will be able to find you sooner and more clients will be able to find you as well. And that's your next business strategy. What you have to be aware of is there are a new rules at the moment in relation to asking for referral and selling other services uh, through educational content or through their newsletters. Make sure that you provide the value first. Do not ask for a sale or do not sell additional products straight away. Make sure that first you build this report with the client. Make sure that you provide 10 times the value first before asking once for additional sale. One of the common mistakes people make is not keeping in touch on a regular basis with your client. You may be selling a product or service and your service or product may be um, a occasional purchase from the client. But don't be fooled by that because you can still keep in touch with your client even though they have bought your product and they're not gonna need your product moving forward. If you're keeping in touch with your client on a regular basis via social media or maybe your educational newsletter, what you're gonna be able to do is position yourself within an industry and you're gonna be fresh in their mind as well. So even though they are not buying through you for the next year or two years or three years, wherever your sales cycle is at the moment, they would be able to hear from you and again, they will be more likely to refer you to other clients. But what you can do as well is you can either offer them additional services or refer some reputable companies with services which you don't offer. That again can increase the value of your client and the lifetime value of your client, more importantly. In conclusions, you can always grow your business by attracting new clients, but make sure to take advantage of all the opportunities within your database. Sit down, take some time and think about it. Are you taking advantage of every single opportunity you've got currently in your database? Are you contacting your clients regularly, maybe to upsell them certain products, maybe review their products? Is there a company nearby or a company which is complementary to yours? where you can actually work together? Are you getting those Google reviews to make sure that you position yourself as high as you can within the Google search? And make sure to implement the processes. The process will keep it easy for every member of your staff to make sure that they are accountable and they doing this every single time. It's not easy and it's not gonna be easy because running the business is not an easy thing. But when you grow, is very exciting and very rewarding. So any suggestions, make sure to contact us at Polish Business Link. Leave a comment because we wanna make sure that the value we provide is better and better every single time. Till the next time.